Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Kiesler. In previous video, we had taken up a question where interest was compounded half yearly as well as quarterly and we came to the conclusion that quarterly interest is more than half yearly interest. Now in this video, we shall be taking up this question where an interest is compounded annually and half yearly and we shall find the gain by comparing both types of interest. And we know that more the number of times interest is compounded, more will be the amount of interest. So naturally half yearly interest will be more than annual interest. And like in previous video, quarterly interest was more than half yearly interest. Now let's start with the question. Sirish borrowed a sum of rupees 1,63,840 at 12.5% per annum compounded annually. On the same day, he lent out the same amount to Sahaj at the same rate of interest but compounded half yearly. Find his gain after two years. Now, this is the question. In this question, there are two cases. First case, Sirish borrows a sum compounded annually and in the second case, Sirish lends to Sahaj the same sum compounded half yearly. The time period is 2 years and the rate of interest is 12.5%. Principal is same in both the cases that is 1,63,840. So basically in this question, Sirish borrows a sum of money which is compounded annually from say Mr. A and he further lends it to Sahaj at interest which is compounded half yearly. The principal is same that is 1,63,840. Rate of interest is same that is 12.5% and time period is 2 years. The only difference is while borrowing, he is borrowing at interest which is compounded annually and while lending, he is lending at interest which is compounded half yearly. And we have to find his gain after 2 years. Now, before starting with the solution, let us revise the formula which we are going to use for calculating the interest annually as well as half yearly. So, when the interest is compounded annually, we use the formula of amount that is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N. Further, compound interest is difference between amount and principal. So, we can say CI is equal to A minus P. Now, the direct formula of CI is also there. That is P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N minus 1. So either way you can calculate the compound interest. Further, when the interest is compounded half yearly, the rate percent per annum which is given in the question is divided by 2. So we get R by 2% per half year and the time period is multiplied by 2. So we get 2N half years. Further, there is a change in the formula of amount and compound interest. So the amount formula is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 200 whole raised to power 2N. Further, compound interest is A minus P or the direct formula is CI is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 200 whole raised to power 2N minus 1. Now, over here, A stands for amount, P stands for principal, R is the rate of interest per annum, N is the number of years and CI is the compound interest. So either you can fi first find the amount and then the compound interest or you can directly use the uh, compound interest formula. Now let's start with the solution. Principal is rupees 1,63,840. Rate of interest is 12.5% which we can convert into fraction. So we shall remove decimal. So 125 upon 10 which is equal to 25 by 2. We have divided by 5, both the numerator and the denominator and we got 25 by 2 percent. Time period is 2 years. Now we shall start with the first case where Sirish borrows a sum compounded annually. So first of all, we shall find the amount for 2 years and then we shall find the compound interest. So amount formula is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N, which is equal to 163,840 in bracket 1 plus 25 by 2 into 100 whole raised to power 2. Now further 25 and 100 will cancel and we will get 4 in the 
denominator. 2 into 4 is 8. So further we can write 1,63,840 in bracket 1 plus 1 upon 8 whole square. Now we shall take LCM. So 8 plus 1 is 9. So 163,840 in bracket 9 by 8 whole square which is equal to 163,840 into 9 into 9 upon 8 into 8 which we will solve and we will get rupees 2,7360. So our amount after 2 years will be 2,7360. Now further we shall calculate compound interest which is the difference between amount and principal. So 2,7360 minus 1,63840 which comes to rupees 43,520. So this is the compound interest from the first case that when Sirish borrows the sum compounded annually. Now we shall take up second case where Sirish lends a sum at an interest which is compounded half yearly. Now principal is same that is rupees 1,63840. Rate of interest 12.5% which is equal to 125 by 10 is equal to 25 by 2%. We have just converted decimal again to fraction and then time period is 2 years. Now the amount formula when the compound interest is uh, calculated half yearly, it is uh, different from what it is calculated annually. So accordingly we will write A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 200 whole raised to power 2N. Now principal is 1,63,840 in bracket 1 plus rate of interest is 25 by 2 so we shall write 25 by 2 into 200 whole raised to power 2 into 2 because 2 is the uh, number of years and twice of number of years that is 2 into 2. Now further we shall simplify. So 25 and 200 will cancel and we shall get 8. 2 into 8 is 16. So we shall write 1,63,840 in bracket 1 plus 1 by 16 whole raised to power 4. Now further take LCM, so 16 plus 1 is 17, so 1,63,840 in bracket 17 by 16 whole raised to power 4. Further we shall expand and solve and we will get 2,8802.50. So amount after 2 years when the uh, interest is compounded half yearly, it is coming rupees 2,8802.50. Now further we shall calculate the compound interest which is the difference between amount and principal. So 2,8802.50 minus 1,63840 and we shall get rupees 44,962.50 as the compound interest from the second case. When the uh, Sirish is lending the sum at an interest which is compounded half yearly. Now let us compare both the compound interest. So in the first case the compound interest when it was compounded annually it is coming rupees 43,520 and in the second case the compound interest which was calculated half yearly is coming 44,962.50. So clearly the compound interest in the second case is more than the compound interest in the first case. So Sirish has a gain so let us find the gain by finding the difference between the compound interest in both the cases. So 44,962.50 minus 43,520 which is coming rupees 1,442.50. So this is the total gain after two years which Sirish is getting just because he borrowed the sum at an interest which was compounded annually and further he had lent out the same sum to Sehej at the same rate of interest and for the same time period but the interest was compounded half yearly. So that's why he had a gain of rupees 1442.50. So hope you have understood this question. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a wonderful day ahead.